I'm angry right now because I was interrupted so many freaking times trying to record this part that I just deleted it because there's too much backwards news, people raging on games, people yelling for me. So yeah, let's get this what it started. Um, um, this what if, I still do not know what to call it. Some cool name, I guess. And so, we'll start this what if. <coughs> After they choose their representative, which would be Deku, class president, which would be the same, and people are yelling, swear to god. And so, it would be time for them going to the USJ. Because they're heading there, and they would arrive. They would have met with the hero named 13. She would have explained how quirks could be dangerous, and be useful as heroes in the same process, given her quirk as an example. Explaining how it can be dangerous to somebody if I use it on them. And how it can help people if they're stuck under somewhere. As they're talking. I swear to God. As they're talking, a whole bunch of villains would come in through a portal. Which would be curiary. As Deku would see the Nomu. Which would have spiked his anger. Making Deku go up to 20% of one for all. Jumping up to it. His body would be tensing up just like how he went against Overhaul. As he would jump down, laying on his feet, dashing forward, out the no moon. Which, um, as I would try to stop him, but he knows if he used a cork on him, it could get him killed, so he can't help it. Since Deku did see the no moves that killed his father, which would have spiked his anger. And so he would be running by crushing the rock beneath him as he drags his sword through it. As he would crumble it all to dust. Jumping forward. Flying towards the no moon. Sure, he's confused as this kid seems to have a... Known what the no moon is saying. God damn it, no moose. As he thinks, how does this kid know about these gnomus? So he would have flown by Shigaraki as Shigaraki tries to grab him. So Deku would turn in his one for all state since he is faster and he does have faster reaction speed. So he would swing his sword, shooting a whole bunch of dust. And he would be, it would hit Shigaraki in the shoulder, cutting him. And he would ignore him, chasing back after the Nomu. Shigaraki tells him to kill him. Deku would have used the sand as a shield for the punch. As then he would form it into a ball, throwing it into him. Which would push back the Nomu, but doing nothing to it. So then we would throw off Deku, throw him in the air. As Deku would ignore it as he would shoot himself with his telekinesis in the air. As he would swing down, as the Nomu would go to punch him, Deku would be able to cut off half of its hand. And as he used the sand to cut it in its stomach. Almost completely sheaving it in half. As Deku is feeling dizzy and feeling very angry, as he would be face to face with the one for all users, as he would be face to face with Nana Shimura or Nana. She tries to tell him to calm down as the other users are there. Saying that, you could be in danger if you keep on doing this to your body. This Deku in his mindscape is sort of like he's dead or non-responsive. As he would turn his head, able to see what's going on in the outside world. 
Because this site would be bloodshot. And she would be running through. The Nomu was attacking on it. And he would see the Nomu's fist go straight in his face, blocking it. Blocking his sight. And then the next moment, he would be looking towards the top of the the dome of the USJ. So he would slam as he would feel sharp pain through his body. So he would slam into the staircase. More people would hear the huge commotion or the huge sound of it. His dick would be there. And his dick of mine would blink out. As the former uses of one fall are worried. And I would say that he would wake him up here. It would not really help him right now, but it would help him in the long run. After this battle, if he survives, as he would get up, running towards the Noma again, as he would have connected all the sand that he can, which everybody can see this glowing light being formed on the top of the USJ heroes and or students and villains alike. As they know this is Deku, as he's forming a gigantic attack. So he'd swing his sword down, bringing down a gigantic light, turning into like a spear. As Deku dragged this straight through the Nomu, because it would drag it across the ground, breaking it and shooting it into the air as it would be bent up in metal and twisted around covering its torso and, and upper chest torn off and pummeled into metal I'm just hoping the US dream would have been ripped and twisted apart as heroes would come after there would be more reports of this happening instead of just Nezu because people can see this in the city also the light that came through the this hero place and as heroes get there with all my being there as this assessor be lying on the floor half dead looking as they get there getting up as Awa picking up Deku they would look up as they can see where that light came from. Seeing the Nomu slowly repair itself from the neck up, or neck down, I mean. It's, it's trying to reform its entire body, so we did have a long regeneration time. As the All Might's there, everybody would freak out. And Shigaraki would have left it there. As all Might takes down the rest of the villains, flying past them angry as he rips off his tie. As they would help everybody there, and Deku would be sent to the hospital. And who would visit there would be the police officers. The report by Azawa explains how Deku attacked the Nomu, and he caused his own damage instead of letting him deal with it. But he'd say, I probably couldn't do anything. Also, since the Nomu seemed to have physical strength that wasn't on the court. And it's time I tried to stop its court, it would only stop its region and absorption. Saying I probably had some kind of physical absorption attacks. Since the people that created it, they said that it was made for All Might, so it was probably meant to go against a physical court user. These flames it was the same creature of that incident with these Nomu things. And that's probably what made Zuku mad or Deku. This would be uh, he would be told that he would be sort of under a house arrest of sorts for his actions. And he's not allowed on UA camp. He's, he's he has a punishment that he's not allowed to go to UA and this 
month time span he has to heal at home and no recover a girl. And so this would also mean that he'd be out at the sports festival. But as it continues on, Deku's recovery would be much faster than a normal person. But he'd be regenerating better than a normal human. I'd say his recovery is three times faster. Wait, how long does it take her to heal? So three times faster. Um, takes, personally, I, I mean, it took like four, take eight weeks, the doctor said before. Um, yeah, it's for some reason. I'm not going to go into it, but. <clears throat> and to heal a rib, it's six weeks. And so, yeah. So, I would say, since, I'd say he would heal a time before, he would heal in three weeks. In these three weeks, he, they only have a couple more days until, give me a so he would be able to get to the US or the sports festival. Recover girl telling him not to overdo it, until he would not. But with this experience, they learned, or at least the doctors learned, which I'd say is one of the doctors that worked on All Might, since Recover a Girl couldn't do it by herself. Explained to them that Deku seemed to unlock a new quirk. Nowhere. It's nothing too significant, like it's not insta region, but his recovery is around twice to three times, two times to three times faster than it was to be. That's why he was able to get into the sports festival. And they're wondering what caused this. When they come up with it, it must be one for all reacting with his body or something. So yeah. So, now we'll get ready in the battle. And so, it would start with the race. Deku turning on 15%. 15% is comfortable. Um, 20% makes him stiff still. Like, he gets stiff sometimes. And 25 is where his joint starts moving slower, so we can't really counterattack, per se. He can throw a stronger attack, but if somebody taps him from behind, he knows this, he won't be quick enough to turn around in this state. But he'd be at 15%, as he would be running. As he'd be running. He'd be able to dodge the world watching. I would say break their legs. Be able to pass people. 15% being able to run faster than... Both Bakio and Toroki can get up to him. And pull to reach above him. Let's do reach the canyon. Where he'll drop to 7%. How to say that? That's some 7%. He would have took out the sword, tapping himself back, jumping up. Would able to make himself float. Sort of. Able to make him across the mountain. He pretty much makes himself, he carries himself, where his jump doesn't make him fall down quick. So he would be able to make it across the canyon. Put him on his sword as so he go back to 15% again. Running. Right now, he knows that he's able to use a higher percentage. He's waiting to use this if something happens, and something will, the mine area. So, he knows he can probably make it through at this level, since Ida can make it through it, but he does get tripped up at the end. So, to make it easier, he get ready with one fall, going 20%. And as he does this, um, Bakio and Hiroki be flying by him. 
other one what he's doing. See the dash for it with a gust of wind behind him since he's using 25, not 20 actually. Since his cape created a wind pressure behind him to fly by them, pushing them away. As this would be enough to trigger the force to trigger several mines to a land, kicking off again, able to set off multiple than just one, making it through, stomping by kicking out his leg, stomping the ground, breaking it, and kind of using the rock to slow himself down. And the heroes are impressed since his physical quirk seems to be very strong. And he has another quirk that he can use, which they haven't seen much of, but he made himself sort of float. Wonder what it is. And he'll get ready for the cavalry battle. On this team, he'll be able to try through Odoraka with Deku. Along with May Hot's May. And I would say Tokyo Me, the same team. Why on this team is since the May can make herself hover. I'd say Dark Shadow would learn how to use his cloak. He's able to flap him and move like he's flying and Orak can make zero gravity. And Deku can move them out of the air quicker if they need to. On this battle, Deku's showing his sword side of her quirk, which people notice as he would be able to make a barrier of light, people describe it as, and to knock people down if like they blast their way up, which would be Bakugo. As he would be able to knock people down from anybody attacking them. And so, they would be able to pass with the mm, headband on their head, since they just stay in the sky, playing the defensive. So it would be for the next one. Next turn, right? So, it would be Deku versus, you know, Shinso. And he would be pulled about Shinso's cork. And Deku takes precaution with this. And so, before he goes in the battle, he would, of course, pull out his blade and tap himself around with a finger. And people being. people not really noticing what he's doing. As he would be walking in. So you'd experiment around what his, his mind control can be. And figure out so whenever he talks back to him. Activate as he would be walking, everybody thinks it's done. But since Deku still had a subconscious, he can still think, but he body he just reacts on its own. He would be able to use his cork as people would hear and see snap. Deku's fingers suddenly twist, snapping and breaking it. As he would look at Shinso, she would grab his finger, he wouldn't say anything, turn him over, crushing the ground, turning it into dust, stabbing the sword into it, pulling it out. She would open up his hand, creating a ball of light made out of dust, with people really seeing the process of him using this cork. Let's say to see the sand form up into a ball and spin as it would start glowing. People learning that that glowing stuff around him was sand or dirt. Let's see to run towards Senso. One with one for all, very able to blitz him. As he would have shoved it into Senso's gut, blasting him off. Winning the match. People being surprised with the cork, but they're wondering what happened, and they had to explain Sensu's cork. And Deku used physical pain by 
touching himself with his blade to use his telekinesis before the battle. And in the process of doing it, being mind control, he broke his finger. Which would be crazy for some people. Since most people wouldn't, wouldn't think to break their finger to get out of somebody's cork. Many people think he's crazy, but it's also a resourceful way. So, we'd move on with him being paired up with Todoroki. And of course, Deki has a plan for him. Let's do Kimiko in there with his sword. No one for all added. As it would start. As Deku would pre, pre get ready for this. This down his blade into the dirt outside the ring. As he would get ready. As the match will start with Todoroki shooting off ice. The size that he went against Soro, the tape dude. His deck he would push his cork as he would use the thing around to crush this ice utterly. It was just completely pummeled into the ground. His deck he would open his eyes so he could move his hand, putting it into the sky. There's a ball with form with a ring around it. And he would shoot forward his fingers as the ball would move on its own or the disc as he would launch towards Shodoroki or Todoroki I said Shodoroki wow amazing play on words right there so he would smash into Todoroki's ice so he'd be able to break through it and cut through it they would both cancel out with Deku the ball exploding Todoroki's ice being destroyed and stick you so that we can do this all day. But if you want to finish this quickly, I'll use my second cork. If you use yours. Seeing that I can do this all day. Putting up his hands, creating two more. Saying that you can barely handle one. What if I set two of them? As he would. So they would be spinning and they would bounce off of each other. Going directly for Todoroki. And one of them would smash through his eyes. Other one would smash into him, shooting him into the ground. As Todoroki would hit by smaller versions of them. Or Deku doesn't like smash him and hit him down. Which people notice that he's not finishing him off and they're wondering why. And they know that's end of her son. And he has a half an hour work. And Deku has two quirks, so I'd say some of the smart people would think that he's trying to make him activate his second quirk, and he would too. And so, it would be to the point that Todoroki would have to turn it on the same. Don't blame me if you get hurt. Shoot it off with a big attack. As Deku would say, he's perfect. As his boy would step into the stadium, and everything would combine together, he would turn on one for all, 10%, bumping up to 15, and then his nose would start bleeding. With the combined efforts, with him blocking the attack and launching it back of sorts. There's a huge explosion happening as the um, stadium around Deku would have been disappeared from the backlash of how much sand and concrete to be used. The Todoroki shot, I would say not into the wall, I would say he'd be shot upwards. I would say where a hero would have to catch him. Deku's sitting there with the light around him, barely any left, and burn and frost around his feet. As he would be leaning on his sword, as he would take in a huge breath, and he would start 
sort of hyperventilating, people seem. Xavier declared the winner, getting ready for the second match. With Decker saying that he can't use his telekinesis for long in the next round. So one for all it is. With him going on the field against Bakugo after a short break. Grabbing something to drink. As it would start. Deku would be at 15%. Running around. And he'd be flying by. He would be able to... It would be like the match against Bakugo at like 8% Deku or was it 7%? But Deku would be doing much better since his attacks are landing more than Bakugo's are. As Deku can, is much faster than he is, like almost double. Either way, his speed, as he'd be able to kick the crap out of Bakugo, and he can also use his fist, which is double trouble. And as Bakugo will be on. The edge, so you would pull a, a big counter impact and uh, armor piercing shots, which I'll say he knows in this one. But Deku would be able to block. I'll say he's been using his Telekinesis not as attack, but for blocking, as he just use it to defend off a big attack, which would be counter impact. And some of his AP shots or armor piercing shots that he launches at him. Creating small shields for those. As he would be stopping midair. If Deku would jump to 25%. Jumping upwards. And Bakugo would be grabbed by the sand. As he would deliver a knee into his stomach. Seeing him directly into the sky. His Bakugo slowed down, not knowing when to quit, even though he's very hurt, and he tried to throw his fusion. As Deku uses telekinesis to move like he's walking right now, as he would have went above this attack, as he would have slammed the strongest attack he can muster at this percentage, with the wind pressure with it. Slamming him to the ground. And Deku would slowly fall to the ground with his telekinesis. With him be clear the winner as he would fall to his knees. Since it's not like a direct back to back battle, but he doesn't have enough time to recoup too much strength. So yeah, he just tired himself out. He would be declared the winner, but they would inform him that he's in the nurse's office right now. As they would explain that he can't really be treated for wounds since he has no stamina right now. So he has to sit in there. His recovery girl wouldn't really use the cork on him since his new regenerated cork would help him through the night. As he would wake up. Whenever he, he would of course go back to his home, brain brand new, like nothing happened yesterday. So he would go back to school with people saying he doesn't have a scratch on him and all that. And he wasn't treated by recovery girl. I'd say he was the first one there, so he's there before M Momo. Or the second one there, after Momo. Since he left the school hurt. As people have noticed, both Bakugo and Todoroki have some scratches as Deku seems like nothing happened. Which would confuse some people. And they would just truck it up for Recovery Girl. But this one I'm going to end this part off. I did have to pause it a couple times for some reason. Nothing too important, but peace out.